Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to multiply big numbers in your head easily. This will be a super duper easy peasy math tutorial, so let's get right into the video. Now I'm going to go over what I would be thinking in my head to multiply big numbers together, okay? So essentially, I'm gonna write it down, but this is what goes on in my head, okay? And I've been able to do this since I was relatively young, so it's not something that you need to be an adult to do. You just need to know your basic multiplication and some multiplication shortcuts, which I'll go over in a minute. So I just have some notes to the side, and the question that I wrote down is 128, so 128 times 25. So 120 times 25 is what we're looking for. What does it equal? We don't know. So in my head, this is what I would do. I always take the bigger number and I leave it as is. And I'll show you a way to break this down even further, but this is how I do it. I take the bigger number and I leave it as is. So 128 is the bigger number, I leave it as is. And then the 25, I break it down into each place value. So your 25 is gonna be 20 plus five. So essentially what I do in my head is I multiply 128 by 20 and then 128 by 5 and I add those two answers together. The hardest part about this method is just keeping the answers for each of these in your head. The further that you break down the numbers, it's going to be easier to multiply them, but harder to keep the, the answers of, the, of, the, of the, each multiplication in your head to add them together. So use your judgment and do what works for you. So this is how I would use some math shortcuts to do this. So 128 times 20, right? So we're going to do this. 128 times 20. That's the first thing we're working with. To do that, I would actually do 128 times 10. Whenever you multiply a number by 10, you rewrite that number as 128 and then you add a zero, okay? So it's 1,280. So this is 128 times 10. 10 is, in order to get from 10 to 20, you need to double that number. So I need to take this number of 1280 and I need to double it. So times two and 1280 times two gives me 2,560, 2560. So that's my first answer. 128 times 20 is 2560. That's my first answer. I would keep that number in my head. Okay, now the next one is easier. I'm 128 times five. So we have 128 times five. 128 times five, for me, what I would do is I would do the same thing, 128 times 10, which I already remember from here is 1280, right? So I do 1280 and five is half of 10. So in order to do that, in order to get the five from the 10, I would have to cut this number in half. So I'd have to divide this by two. 1280 divided by two is going to be 640, okay? So that's my answer, 120 times five is 640. And I just take these two numbers and add them together. So 2,560 plus 640 is going to be equal to 3,200, 3,200 or 3,200. That's our answer. So this is what I would do it. And to do this in my head would probably take me about 30 seconds or so. It's like when I'm showing you every step takes much longer. But when you learn to do this in your head, it doesn't take long. Like, you know, 128 times 10 is 1280 times 2 is 25, 6. You can do that like in a matter of, let's say, 15 seconds maximum. This can be done probably in a matter of 10 seconds. And then adding these together will probably take you about five seconds. Okay, that's if, you, if you're really good at math and you've practiced. Now, what you can do to make this even easier is break down the 128 as well. But then that involves more multiple. So instead of breaking, instead of doing it as 128, you can break it down into like, let's say like 120 plus eight, but that involves more multiplication. That's a whole other video. And I'll probably do that video separately, but this is how to multiply big numbers in your head easily. Um, a simple math tutorial. This is what I do in my head to multiply big numbers. And it works really, really well. And you just get used to it after a while. Like I said, you can do almost any number of this size in probably about 25 to 30 seconds. So that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.